In Week 14, Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins will be taking on Justin Herbert and the Los Angeles Chargers on Sunday Night Football. In a game between two of the NFL's most explosive teams, all eyes will be watching. Ahead of this Dolphins-Chargers game, we will be making our Week 14 Dolphins predictions, heading into Week 14. The Tagovailoa-led Dolphins have looked to be one of the best teams in the NFL. They have an 8-4 record and are second in the AFC East. Dolphins first-year head coach Mike McDaniel has also helped take this team to a new level. With him leading the group, this offense has reached new heights, but on Sunday night when they take on Herbert and the Chargers, the Dolphins could be in for a challenge. Herbert and the Chargers currently sit at 6-6 on the season. They are currently in second place in the AFC West. This matchup will feature two of the most prominent young quarterbacks in the NFL in Herbert and Tagovailoa. Ulitemly, this could be a battle that we see for the next decade, with the season reaching the final stretch. Every win matters. This game could have long-term implications in this elite AFC. A win for either side could benefit them heavily, here are three predictions for the Dolphins' Week 14 matchup. 3. The Dolphins' backfield has a big day. The Dolphins' backfield, led by Raheem Mostert and Jeff Wilson Jr. has looked elite at times this season. And they will now get to line up against a Chargers run defense that has struggled consistently throughout the season. Heading into Week 14, the Chargers have given up the fifth most rushing yards in the NFL with 1,819. They have also been scored on 13 times on the ground so far, in the short time that Mostert and Wilson have shared the backfield. Both running backs have managed to find success. Mostert, who has played in 12 games this season, has rushed for 573 yards and three touchdowns on 125 carries. Wilson, who was acquired at the trade deadline, has also earned a spot in the backfield. In four games with the team, he has rushed for 212 yards and two touchdowns on just 40 total carries. With how the Chargers' defense has struggled against the run game all season, the Dolphins could once again make things difficult for them. Both Mostert and Wilson could leave the game putting up big numbers. 2. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell prove to be the NFL's best duo. The off-season acquisition of veteran wide receiver Tyreek Hill may have been the key to unlocking the Dolphins' offense. It has also allowed for Jalen Waddell to become one of the NFL's best pass catchers. In his first season with the Dolphins, Hill has been targeted 129 times. As a result, he has recorded 96 receptions for 1,379 receiving yards and 5 touchdowns. Next to Hill, Waddle has seen an explosion in his numbers. Coming off of a strong rookie campaign in 2021, Waddle looks to cement himself as an elite option. He has recorded 57 receptions for 972 receiving yards and 6 touchdowns on 90 total targets. The pass catching duo of Hill and Waddle, combined, have put up historic numbers. In total, they have accounted for 2,351 receiving yards and 11 touchdowns on 153 receptions. The Chargers' secondary has been solid through the air this season, allowing just 2,641 receiving yards. But they have struggled to keep players out of the end zone. Allowing 20 receiving touchdowns, Hill and Waddle have regularly put up big numbers for this Chiefs offense. Even the best secondaries have struggled to slow them down. Given how the Chargers' defense has performed, these two could once again have themselves a big day. 1. Tua Tagovailoa and Justin Herbert go to battle, Tagovailoa and Herbert, the fifth and sixth picks in the 2020 NFL Draft, will forever be linked. Since draft day, their careers have become intertwined. This matchup could give a solid understanding of just how similar they are to each other at this point. In year 3, Tagovailoa has played the best football of his short career for the Dolphins. Over 10 games, he has thrown for 2,859 passing yards, 21 touchdowns, and just 5 interceptions. Opposite of Tagovailoa, Herbert has had a somewhat difficult campaign. Playing on an injury-riddled Chargers offense, he has struggled to find the same success that he did last season. But even so, he has still found a way to put up big numbers. Through 12 games Herbert has thrown for 3,339 passing yards, 20 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions, both Herbert and Tagovailoa find themselves in the top 7 in touchdown passes. And they both look to be locked in as the franchise pieces of their teams. In this Sunday night matchup, all eyes will be locked on this quarterback matchup.
whichever quarterback walks away with the victory will have the upper hand.